welcome back to Inside Ambition. My name is Emily McAndrews and this is Drexel Update, interviewing students here on campus. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to Peter Loof, the president of Drexel Theme Park Engineering and Design Group, also known as Drexel TPED. But first, make sure you guys go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. Hi, Pete, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. All right, so I guess um, let's just start off. Why don't you tell me a little bit about you and uh, what you do in TPEN? So uh, I'm a I'm a third year uh, mechanical engineering student here at uh, Drexel, um, and I'm the current president of TPEN. Cool. So what kind of things? Um, so obviously your group's all about theme parks and uh, the engineering design side of it, obviously based on the name. Um, so I guess tell me a little bit about what you guys uh, do as an organization. Uh, so we we like to give us do a little mix of um, both like social events and also a lot of professional events as well. Um, we compete in competitions. Uh, we quite frequently have guest speakers from uh, from companies like Walt Disney Imagineering, Universal Creative, some really big names out there. Um, we have some alumni who currently work there as well. So we try to stay connected with them to help um, our members work their way into that industry if they want to. Um, or if you just are interested in theme parks, we have our weekly general body meetings um, and we'll usually do like fun design prompts or little presentations about things uh, involving the industry. Um, but overall, we try to help our members achieve what they want with the club, whether that just have like a group of friends or um, find a job at places like Walt Disney Imagineering and Universal Creative. Super cool. Um, so you say you have a lot of guest speakers. Who are some of your who are some of your favorite guest speakers that you've had? Um, I would have to say we just recently had one of our alumni come in. Uh, his name is Justin Petrangolo. Um, he currently works at Walt Disney Imagineering, and uh, he told us a bit about. I'm not exactly allowed to say a ton about it because they always have a lot of Disney's crazy with their NDAs. But um, <laughs> he's been doing some really cool stuff that you've definitely seen um in the parks recently um so just being able to hear about like how things are made from him and then in the summer we also had two more of our alumni uh who are also working for imagineering um and they told us like stuff where they've even had to go to paris to work at disneyland paris and stuff and um work uh, just getting to hear from them is really cool and the behind the scenes of everything um but yeah, those are like some of my favorites. That's really cool. Getting getting to hear from people that work in Disney is super cool. Um, so definitely something really interesting to check out. Um, you also mentioned that you guys do competitions. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do in them per se? Yeah, so um, we, uh, we've we got a, quite a history of competitions. Um, uh, a few years back, we, uh, we actually got into the finals of Walt Disney Imaginations. Um, it's basically this competition Disney hosts every year um, and the top six finalists get all invited to their headquarters in uh, Glendale, California, which is right, like outside of LA. Um, so uh, some of our members actually ended up getting the finals and that if you're in the finals, you're pretty much guaranteed an internship with them. And that's actually what led to them being able to work for Walt Disney Imagineering. Um, and then another big competition that we uh, compete in yearly is the uh, is Ryerson. Um, it's held at Universal Orlando every year. Um, we've been competing in that um, since uh, since it started, um, and we've we've won it. We've gotten first place in a few of the um, different categories, like uh, quite a few times uh, last year. Uh, we got second place in one, um, I believe, third in another, and then uh, one of the individual competitions. I remember actually won. Um, so we we have we do so. Also with that, you get to go down to Universal Orlando. It's just a lot a lot of fun being able to go down there. You're given like 48 hours or t something to compete in to come up with the like they give you design prompts for rides or retheming things and stuff like that but it's overall a really cool experience. Um, and we're currently um, competing. It's not a competition this year, but we're doing an adapted version of it in which it's not really a competition, but they're just judging us for future competitions. And also those people judging us are uh, big executives at places like Universal Creative 
So um, getting feedback from those people and also just getting our names in front of those people is really good for us. I know in the past, um, some of our members have actually gotten interviews um, just from uh, one of the judges like liking the way they thought for one of the design competitions. So um, yeah. That's, some, that's a really great experience that you got, you've all been able to have. Um, so I guess, how are things different uh, for you all during quarantine? Have you guys been able to uh, keep doing what you do? In all honesty, it hasn't been too, too big of a difference. We kind of just moved everything online. Our general body meetings weren't too hard to move online. It was just kind of doing the presentations and stuff in an online environment. Um, we did miss out on a few things. Like we usually do a spring trip every year to either Six Flags or Hershey Park. Um, sadly, we weren't able to do that, but hopefully we're trying for next year. Um, we actually are gonna be able to do both a fall and spring trip. So um, that helps out even the members who are on uh, uh, spring summer co-op who might not be in Philly to go on those trips too. So um, that's the only really big thing that's stopped us. And if anything, it's actually helped us a little bit because uh, the two main big hubs for our industry are Orlando and um, Cal and uh, LA. Um, we were able to connect with some people that we normally aren't able to um, because a lot of these events have moved online. So it's, it's helped us in, in some ways and hurt us in a few others, but we've kept the club going on and uh, we got a lot of extra guest speakers because of it, so. Well, that's really great to hear. Um, glad to see that you're still doing well um, in these crazy times, you know, doing it all online. Um, so if anyone is interested in getting involved um, with the organization, how can people do so? Uh, so most of our communications go through our Discord. Also, all of our events are posted on DragonLink. Uh, if you'd like to join our Discord, uh, you can reach out to us at drexelkeypad at gmail.com or any of our socials. We're on Instagram, it's Drexel's T-Ped with an S in between the Drexel and T-Ped. And then Facebook, we're just Drexel T-Ped. So if you DM us on any of those either, we can send you the link to the Discord. And also we announce all of our events on there. Um, but to get usually the Zoom links, you have to be on the Discord. So yeah, if you, and also we're always looking for undergraduate ambassadors and stuff. So um, you can get onto our eboard pretty easily whether just to be like shadow some of the higher positions to get into a position for the future. Um, we like to really help people um, get those things on their resume and also getting the experience within like the, just like managing organizations is always good, so. Oh, that's great to hear. Well, thank you so much, Peter, for coming to talk with us today. Um, we've really enjoyed having you on the show and best of luck with everything uh, with TPED this year. Thank you, you too. All right, everyone. Well, thank you for watching Drexel Update. Uh, make sure that you guys go ahead and like and subscribe the channel and you can find all of Drexel T-Ped's information in our description below. See you guys next week.